Hi, in this problem we're going to find the second derivative of this function. So let's go ahead and do it, solution. So because we have a fraction and we have a number here in the numerator, a good first step is to rewrite it. So it's important to notice that the bottom here is really to the first power. So what we'll do as a preliminary step is we'll take this and we'll bring it upstairs. So this is y equals 5x plus one to the negative one. Okay, now we're ready to differentiate. So y prime is equal to, so you take this number and you bring it down and you put it in the front. We're using the power rule. So this is negative one. Then you leave the inside untouched. So this is the chain rule. So you take the derivative of the outside, you leave the inside untouched, and then times, you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 5x is 5, the derivative of 1 is 0. An alternative to doing this would have been to use the quotient rule, but that would have been a little bit more work. So again, you bring down the negative 1, leave the inside untouched, subtract 1, and then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just put the 5 in the front. So this is y prime equals negative 5, parentheses 5x plus 1 to the negative 2. And we want the second derivative, so we're just going to do it again. So y double prime equals the same thing. Bring this down. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. Parentheses 5x plus 1. And then we subtracted 1, so it's minus 3 times the derivative of the inside again. So again, it's going to be 5. Again, let's check that. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. We subtract 1 and then multiply by the derivative of the inside. Finally, we have 5 times 10, which is 50. And then parentheses 5x plus 1 to the negative 3. As a final step, we can just take this and bring it back down. So y double prime is equal to 50 over, and then we have parentheses 5x plus 1, and this is to the third power, and that would be the second derivative of the function. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.